And I want to say this, um, that this message, um, I have been reluctant to say this because it's not in my way, it's not where I do things. I'm not a prophet, but once God lays something in my heart and it keeps coming, then he is telling me to let it out. And I have asked, why wouldn't I look for the numbers of these people and tell them this thing privately? But he said, no, Chukwabiam has said you must say it on air. For everybody to know, so that tomorrow people will not say their friends are not great. Because God is going to do wonderful things very, very soon. And um, to these people, it's just two people, you know, very important. And they are our woman leader in USA, uh, Madam Bridget. And um, our brother, I should ask also our elder, Mazi Rabbi Chas. Um, if two of you are listening to me, Please, you have to pay attention. And watching AK after, you can also cut out this message and make sure it gets to them. It's very important. To our woman leader in USC, Chukwabiam has said, when I say Chukwabiam has said, he didn't appear to me and said it. He laid it in my heart to tell you, I don't know you. Uh, I mean, I'm just one, I'm Italian, I don't know you, but this message, but maybe because Chukwabiam loves you and he doesn't want you to go in the wrong way. He said, I should tell you that you should listen to the order from the DOS, headed by Mazichi Kaidozim. He said, I should tell you that the respect you accord to our leader Mazin Namdikan, you must accord that same respect to the DOS, headed by Mazichi Kaidozim. He said, you should not derail. Because he said, you as a person, that you know, Madam Bridget, I'm saying now, that you know that our leader loves you. And you are thinking that if something comes up, maybe as our HOD said last time, that if you don't put yourself in line, that maybe IPOB women USA will be disbanded and you leave that position. You are thinking that if such happens, that if our leader comes out, he's going to reverse it. He said, I should tell you that our leader will not reverse it. Because that our leader loves you, he might want to reverse it, but he cannot. Not because he doesn't have the powers to, but he has, but because he is under divine authority from God, not to temper anything that the DOS has said. God told our leader, you do your job, I do my job for my people. Because the Biafran people, I tell you, are the people of God. And Chukwabema has decided to bring us out from that Nigeria. So he said, you must be able to listen to DOS. It is a direct instruction. I didn't say God appeared to me and was telling me, that, no. I said he laid it in my heart. This is the way. I have been very reluctant to say something like this, but honestly, he keep on telling me, he keep on telling me, but it triggered me. I summoned courage after listening to my Chena Samu yesterday. I have to be very frank and truth because this is the word of Tuku Kitabiam. And to Masi Rabbi Chas, it is very, very, God said, I should tell you, you are not God. That you should stop to try to determine his ways of doing things. He said, I should tell you that our leader, where our leader is presently, is not, is, is his own way. That he allowed everything that happened to happen. That you should stop to try to use your own understanding or use your sense to try to determine the way he does things. Because he is God and his ways are not man's way. He said also that what is what happened in South Africa cannot happen in Biafra. That you see the xenophobia happening in South Africa can never ever happen in Biafra. And that he is building something very, very different that man cannot comprehend. So that you should just try to replay, retrace your steps. That I should tell you that you have done a lot of damage. That you might not know it. But you have done a lot of damage and that you should see it and you should stop. This is a message from God. It's not from me. I'm not saying God appeared to me. I say tell this is a message from Chupo Kikabiam. He didn't appear to me. I say tell this. No, he laid it in my heart like I usually say because you can't see God. I don't know people say the secret, but we have not seen him before. But I know he laid message in people's hearts. Maybe he said I should say this on air, maybe because he has Many people have told this thing to you people privately and you people have refused. Because I was very reluctant to do this because I don't do this. I am just a small boy who is after the freedom of Yatra, our people, to be free. But 
when things like this come, I just have to, if it keep coming, I just have to say so that I will be free. I don't know you, you don't know me, I don't know anybody. The only person I know in DOS is the only Europa rep, it's normal, I mean, you know, so I, I should know the Europa rep. That is the only person I know. So that this is a direct message. Please, we must take caution because Nigeria has been mapped out for total destruction. And some people, our people, some of our people must not fall with some people that are meant to fall. Because somebody has fallen in this struggle that he doesn't know he has fallen. And you all are working with this person. But maybe God is saying this thing because they do not look as if their friends are people that maybe somehow they don't remember what somebody has done before. Whenever that person goes out, they just condemn that person. And maybe God doesn't want to condemn you both. This is the truth. So it's just a message, please. I don't say this. I say this respectfully in your honor. And please and please, it's not... It's not under bias, it's not under anything, it's just a direct message that God laid to my heart. Chuko Ikadama laid it to my heart and he said I must speak it in this way. And please, and please, if I offend you, I ask for your forgiveness. But please, take the message of Chuko Ikadama and do the need and act on it. Because, um, I don't know, if you, if maybe if you continue the way you are going, well, I don't know what will happen, but... I am sure God will not be happy with your actions and is definitely going to stop you. That is the truth. So what I want to say to the Abraham now is that please and please, the Abraham must understand that what we are doing is spiritual and is also physical. But I think it is more of spiritual because this battle is a very, very spiritual battle. Our leader is going to be released. It's not by God is going to please our leader. Whether it's not by Nigeria choice or British choice. God is going to, God has his ways of doing things. He allows things to happen for a particular reason. I don't know, you don't know. Because we are human beings. We must stop to calculate with ourselves and say, oh, this thing is supposed to go this way. Why did it go this way? Who did this? Who did that? No. We must face the struggle. And God said, DOS is the is that train that is using to meet us, headed by Master Kedusian. And we, has, we must to accord them all support. Anything they approve, we must follow it. Anything they don't approve, we must abandon it. This is the message of heaven. So, dear friends, please take note of this and fall in place. Stop speculations because what we are doing is a heaven project. It is a project from God and we have to follow it the way God laid the procedure. We cannot determine how God does his things. We cannot say, oh, um, speeding is free. This is how they do it. These people are free. This is how they do it. Why would our own be different? No, because God is a God that never changes, or He has His ways of doing things. His ways are not the way of men. Super Diama that we serve has decided to. He has said, Our freedom must come. He said, It's a must. It's not. Nobody can stop it. Nobody, no human being. Nobody can. So, please, the Africans should support DOS and follow and be disciplined. We should never, ever forget the words of our leader. It is very, very important. Thank you, Machineke, and God bless you. Yeah, they were my brother.